Hi, welcome back to the Explore YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about few of the beginner coding mistakes which I made and I don't want you guys to make. So the very first one which I can think of is fundamentals. So again, I want you guys to be clear with the fundamentals. What do my fundamentals? I mean time and let's say space complexities. These are the fundamentals. If you know, if you know how to reverse, if you know how to maybe reverse an array using let's say for loop or while loop, try reversing the array using recursion, right? Try reversing the array using recursion. At the beginning, what I used to do is I used to go over maybe YouTube and try to learn fancy algorithms, right? Tougher algorithms, maybe just to seem cooler that, okay, I know these algorithms and therefore I was skipping the fundamentals or the basics. So these are the few steps which you have to take care of. Again, in recursion, learn about what a tail recursion is, learn about what a head recursion is and then so on. Okay, so the fundamentals is something which should be clear enough. Okay, the second one I can think of is basically how you can go about practicing from YouTube tutorials. Okay, how you can go about practicing from, let's say, tutorials. I'm just going to write tutorials. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen is, let's say you want to learn a new technology. Let's say it's XYZ. And you found out a good tutorial, a playlist uh, generally. And let's say the playlist has 50 videos. So what you do is you are kind of smart enough. You are kind of hyped, right? You are kind of hyped and you say that, okay, I'm going to on the first day, on the first day itself, you learned around 10 to 15 videos from that playlist. Okay. You learned about 10 to 15 videos from the playlist. On the second day, let's say you learned around eight videos. Now on the third day, on the third day, your brain is going to trick you into thinking that, okay, let's skip it. Right? Let's skip it. Like skip this day, take a rest. Now you might be like, why? Well, you have covered all of these videos, like around 15, 8, you have covered 23 videos out of 50. So let's take a break. Let's take a break. No issues on that. And again, this break thing, this break mindset will continue. And this will continue on until like after a month, after a month, you realize that, okay, you have to complete another set of, let's say 27 videos. So that's not something you want. What you can do is, what you can do is go about saying that, okay, since there are 50 videos, I'll be consistent here. Yes, that's the keyword. You should be consistent. I'll be consistent and I'll say that I'll complete that within a span of 12 to 13 days. Now you might be like, how? Well, I'll be doing four videos every day. Now you might be like that, okay, if there are four videos which I'm doing, let's say today I did four videos and I completed those four videos within, let's say 1.5 hours or more formally one hour, 30 minutes. Now you might be like, I'm still hyped enough. I'm still hyped enough to do more videos. But right now you should just stop because you have kind of reached your daily target, right? You have completed four videos. Try to learn different technology, right? Try to do different stuff related to your work, college assignment, project, side project, whatever the stuff is. Again, next day, come back and do four videos. And you will see that within 12 to 13 days with your fixed time schedule, you will be able to complete it, right? And that's the beauty of it. You have to be consistent and you have to divide each and every videos on a particular day. Okay, great. The third one can be as simple as understanding right as simple as understanding the problem understanding the problem and not memorizing it and not uh, let's say memorizing it. i'm gonna write memorizing now what do i mean by this so basically whenever whenever we code out a solution right code out a solution maybe on a lead code platform or let's say code forces and then so on so what's generally happening is that okay suppose there's this problem a and i'm not able to solve it so what i do is i go and look at the editorial right? I go and look at the editorial and suppose I'm not able to understand editorial. Then I go and look at someone else solution So someone, uh, someone's code. I'm going to look at someone's code. Now, instead of understanding that code, which is written by suppose person X, I'm just copying that code and pasting it. And I'm getting the solution accepted, right? I'm getting the solution passed and accepted. Now you might be like, okay, I'm progressing, but no, you're not progressing. You are not understanding the code. You're just copying and pasting it. And believe me, I used to do this a lot. I used to do this a lot out of maybe like five to six code submissions I made out of that. Maybe I have watched or uh, copied, pasted the solution for three or two of them. And I didn't understand them. Right. So that's not something I want from you guys. Right. Now I have currently improved. What's going to happen is that, okay, if the code is long enough, if the code is long enough, try to understand the code in parts, right? Try to maybe dry run, try to dry run, let's say, Two test cases, only two test cases is enough. Okay, two or three test cases. Try to try run two or three test cases. Once you have done that, again, suppose you're not able to understand. What you should do is, 
कम बैक आफ्टर टू टू थ्री डेज कम बैक आफ्टर टू टू थ्री डेज टेक योर माइंड ऑफ फ्रॉम दैट क्वेश्चन Take your mind off from that question. Again, come back after two to three days, and you will see that okay, you are able to understand. And believe me, this is going to work. This is going to completely work. I'm saying two to three days. You can take one day off as well. Okay. Now the very last one I can think of is basically you should never compare. You should never compare yourself with someone who is already ahead of you. Now what do I mean by that? Well, suppose suppose you have started coding and it's already three months. Right? It's already three months. I've kind of started coding, learning different languages, and this is you, right? This is you, and there's this another guy right here who's coding since let's say four years, right? Four or let's say three or four years. So you should never compare yourself with him or her. Never compare yourself. Instead, you should look for motivation from this guy. Instead, you should be looking for mentorship. You should be looking for mentorship from this guy, and never compare yourself. Never be like, okay, this guy was able to solve let's say three problems, and I was not able to solve even one of them. Notice the gap here. You are you have started. It's only three months. This guy has been doing since three to four years, right? So there's this compounding effect which comes here, right? What do you mean by compounding effect? So for example, if this guy was consistent enough, so if he or she is able to learn different algorithms and implement it every week, so he or she is learning gradually, right? So the learning is kind of compounded. So that's what I'm saying is that okay, for a person who is doing so in three to four years, is definitely going to know much better than you, right? I hope that makes sense. so right now what i am expecting you is to compare yourself with you for example as of now if i compare myself with a person who has been doing coding since let's say 4 to 5 years then i'm nothing nothing in front of him right but if i compare myself if i compare myself with what i was last year let's say 2021 beginning january then i have progressed a lot i've kind of progressed a lot that's it so again if you want to compare just compare yourself with what you were let's say 3 to 4 months back ago or let's say 6 months back ago and whatever the progression you have made that's your real progression instead of comparing with someone else right and even don't compare with someone else let's say who has let's say you are on one year of coding right and never compare yourself or never downgrade someone else who is just starting let's say some guy started and it's been 2 months so never say them okay you are bad or you are not able to do this so you are not given never going to learn remember you are also there at some point of a time okay so these are the few mistakes which i did and i don't want you guys to do okay so please do drop a like on the video and make sure to subscribe the channel as well thank you